Hi, welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. I'm Ferha, and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Peak Lab. In this video, I'll be analyzing a past year examination question from the topic of plant cycle. I've placed the question in a handout and you may download it for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. So let's begin. Question 41. Stanley planted a seed and recorded the growth as shown below. So we have the picture showing us from stage L all the way to stage P. We are supposed to look for statements which are true. Let's take a look at the first statement. At stage O, the seedling uses the seed leaf for food. This is stage O. What is that structure that I'm pointing at? Those are the true leaves. But have the true leaves fully developed like in stage P? No, the true leaves have not fully developed. Let's write that down. And if the true leaves have not fully developed, are they able to carry out photosynthesis to make food? No, this seedling is not able to carry out photosynthesis to make its own food. So where does the seedling get its source of food? The seedling will get its source of food from the seed leaf, the structure I'm pointing with the purple arrow. Let's write that down. So is statement A correct? Does the seedling use the seed leaf as a source of food? Yes, it does. So statement A is correct. Let's take a look at statement B. At stage L, the roots will appear first to take in water from the soil. What is the structure that first appear when the seeds germinate? That structure is the root. And what is the function of the root? The root's function is to take in water and mineral salts from the soil. The root also has another important function, is to anchor the seedling firmly down to the ground. So is this statement correct? Yes, this statement is correct. Let's take a look at the third statement. At stage P, the young plants trap sunlight to make food. Remember those structures that have fully developed in stage P? What are those structures? Those are the true leaves. And what is the function of the true leaves? The function of the true leaves is to trap light. And what process would that light be used for? The true leaves can trap light for photosynthesis to make food. So, does that make statement C correct? Yes, this makes statement C correct. And let's take a look at the last statement. Fertilization can occur from stage N onwards. When does fertilization occur? Fertilization occurs after the process of pollination. And what structure must be present for these two processes to happen? Pollination and fertilization must happen in flowers. Do you see any flowers from stage L to stage P? We don't see any flowers from stage L to stage P. The flowers only develop in the adult stage. So, let's write that down. Fertilization occurs in flowers. And the flowers only develop in the adult stage. Can I say that fertilization occurs from stage N onwards? I cannot say that since there are no flowers in stage N, there will be no pollination and no fertilization happening in stage N. Remember, we are looking for statements which are true. All the statements are true except for statement D, giving us the answer as option 4. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you want to check out the other videos, click on the link on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I see you next time. Bye!